convict a person based on DNA, and it wasn't him, it was his brother. The DNA of the brothers are very, very similar. Two twins, almost the same t DNA. They, they make a, they, they, it happened in the past that they made mistake. Today, I don't know how they even convict people based on DNA because there's an Israeli company who found a way to forge DNA. So you cannot rely on it anymore. Somebody did it to someone because he wants to set him up. You know, send someone to prison for the rest of his life based on DNA. According to the Torah, it's going to be a problem because it's, it's not, not beyond any doubt. It's maybe beyond reasonable doubt. The chance that someone would fake DNA and plant it in a scene is very unlikely to happen, very rare. But it's still possible. But in America, it's good enough because it's beyond reasonable doubt. There's no reasonable doubt to think that someone went and forged the DNA and planted it over there, even though it happened already a few times. But, you know, we don't go that far. But according to the Torah, you're not allowed to convict him. The chance exists? Exists. You cannot, ex you cannot convict him. You can convict him. There's, well, he's going to go free. It's not our problem. It's Hashem's problem. If Hashem wants, let him kill him. If he let him go free, it's not on me. I follow the rules.